This morning in our series, Foods of Love, the ultimate Valentine's Day meal, a luxurious breakfast in bed. Jonathan Cartwright is exec executive chef at Maine's White Barn Inn, and he is with us this morning. Uh, his uh, restaurant has been described as a gastronomic paradise. That's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. There you go. <laughs> Try to please up there. But they have very good staff that make it very easy. We have great products. Terrific. So we're going to make some omelets, right? And we're, our special ingredient is lobster, which I understand over the last year or so has been become relatively inexpensive. It's, it's very reasonable, yes, at the moment. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's a great time to buy it. It's a great... Um, Aphrodisiac for Valentine's Day. It's an aphrodisiac? Do we know that for a certainty or? No, no, we just say that in May. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make some omelets here. We hope we have uh, fire in the fire in the pan. Yes, we do. Right? Now, is there anything I need? Can I just dump it in there? You can just put it in there. We got a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna pour in the eggs. Oh, it sounds good, right? Now, we wanna do this with the idea in mind that men should be doing this for their uh, for their wives, for their for their girlfriends, for their right? Sweethearts on Valentine's Day. Exactly That's right. right. So we need to stir it around a little bit mm -hmm. so we get the coagulation to be even there. And mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little bit of warmed lobster meat out of the oven. Yeah. That we've cooked earlier. You now I'm to... actually we have fountains outside. And I'm going to take that live lobster. And I'm going to liberate it back to the fountain that's outside. Right. So, that's right. You know, that's the way to do no, it. If, if anyone is watching and afraid of what's going to happen to the lobster. She'll be happy to be in New York. That's right. Made a, made a good trip. There you go. Maybe she'll do a little bit of shopping before. <laughs> now, you put some lobster inside the omelet, right? You do. Do you okay. just give it one more little stir one around? One more. That's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because you need to be able to get that edge up, right? You certainly do. All right. So we're going to put some lobster meat in there. And mm -hmm. obviously the warm lobster meat will help cook also. And the, really the all you have so just a little salt, a little pepper, some chives, and the lobster, right? Yeah, exactly. And we're going to save that claw just to garnish it with a little oh, bit Oh, see, on. look, oh, that's going to be great. That's going to be absolutely terrific. And this is... And I'm, we put a little bit of chive in there. Yeah. So, depending on how you like your omelet, right. it's good to leave it a little bit runny. Right. You don't want to cook it really, really hard. Yeah, but see, this is the difficult part. I, I, are you going to just flip it with your wrist, or? No, no, we'll roll it. We'll use our roll spatulas. Roll it. Oh, thank goodness. You do, you do yours first. All right, do it quickly. All right, look at that, look at that. Oh. oh. See? Right. Pressure's on. Right, I'm Let's not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm, this is the part I'm best at, right? And take a look at this. What do you call this down here? This is a little chocolate box with some chocolate truffles in. And, and it's got, got the ring, ring in it in just in case you need it. 